Okay, we're here at a Chinese festival in Kuala Lumpur with Mr. Peter Davis and Mr. Henry Goh. Tell us what you have planned with me, my gentleman. Well, we're going to the uh, semi-finals on the 18th of May. I believe it's going to be at the Paradigm Mall, which is in uh, PJ in Kuala Lumpur. And we're going through with lots of good fighters now. We've weeded out some of the weaker guys and now the better guys are in now. We've got some people who have good grappling skills. Uh, the grappling's really, really improved, but I think we might see more striking this time. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, our match card actually we just finalized it and then uh, it will be released uh, most probably in on Monday or Tuesday, this coming Monday or Tuesday in Malaysian, Malaysian.com. So yeah, we're looking for more exciting fights and we're going to get our finalists together mm -hmm. and then it's going to be a big boom uh, when that happens because we've got some exciting stuff planned for the winners mm -hmm. of this next round. Really looking forward to it and then uh, looking forward to seeing how things go with the finals. So thumbs up basically. And oh, Mr. Davis, you're a wonderful <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> and our game Henry. finals will be, will be held in Stadium Ligara mm. and on the 15th of June. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and just as reference, we're discussing MIMA, M I M M A, yeah. Malaysian Invasion Mixed Martial Arts. Yeah. Tell us how it came about. Um, I think Tune Talk were. Uh, yeah, Jason Lowe from Tune Talk, mm. they were looking to put together something to highlight the local Malaysian fighters mm -hmm. as opposed to having like big international tournaments mm -hmm. bring the MMA which was growing at quite a fast pace mm -hmm. in Malaysia back to Malaysia and have Malaysians fight against each other to, to see who's the best because when you get some international talents come in if they've been doing it for 10 20 years already you know uh, then they they'll, they'll they can easily win against some of these guys but these are new guys who are fresh to the sport they want to try out mixed martial arts mm -hmm. and what's happened is uh, chin talk wanted to highlight these guys bring it down to, to all the people at ground level who are just starting out who would like to try some amateur fights before you know there are any like big pro fights before they had a pro fight so that, that's what Shinto did and that's the reason why Mima came back essentially ok and who who of the best fighters been do you feel that Mima has produced um, Mima right now I mean, it's still unclear but moving into the the, the semi-finals yeah we've got we've got a few more guys who have improved their ground game like I'll just I'll just throw out one name there uh, Kenny Yap is uh, he's, yeah, he's improved a lot he's showing that he's got a good ground game and he's got some heart that I'm hoping, you know, he, he puts a better stand-up game together. So he, he kind of trained with me and I've known him for a long time. He's been there from the, about two years ago when I started teaching mixed martial arts in Malaysia. He was one of the first guys that came along. And in those two years, he's, he's grown phenomenal, uh, at a phenomenal pace, so ju just as the rest of Malaysian MMA has. And I believe, you know, he's one of the good guys to look to at uh, flyweight. Um, the other guys, I don't know, because I, I don't know them as well. Um, I'm still, I still get to get to know them personally. You know, I've interviewed a few of them, and there are some good things on. But um, we're going to find out in the semis, really, who's who. And in the semis, we're going to get more of a feel for the guys, and then we're going to know who's, who, who's the cream of the crop. Yeah. Okay, he's not a Mima fighter, but one of Malaysia's young guns at the moment who's making noise is Jani uh, Suba. Yeah. Also someone who's been uh, strolling around the campfire here tonight. Indeed. Uh, and, what do you uh, think of Gianni? Gian, Gian, Gianni's very good. He's uh, very clean with his style. He's very confident. He likes his wrestling base and he's like throwing a lot of boxing to go with that, which is a good combination. I believe he's training jiu-jitsu as well. And one important thing is his brother... Um, yeah, yeah, Keanu. He's, uh, he's in the Malaysian Invasion right now, running through his weight category. Better weight. Featherweight indeed, yeah. he's the, the, I think one of the prime featherweights in, in Mima, mm -hmm. I think he, he could possibly take home the belt uh, for his category, because his uh, striking is good, his wrestling is, is good, mm -hmm. and you know, he's, yeah, he's very well rounded, and that's what he, the people need to be in, in the Malaysian invasion right now, and for the semis, we're going to see him in his fight, we, I think people have full confidence in him to win, so... Yeah, Scuba's Super Brothers are, are doing well in Malaysia, and uh, yeah, Gianni, Gianni's, Gianni's like cream of the crop right now uh, of the young guns as well. But now he's turned pro already, so not not eligible. But apart from that, good stuff. Yeah. Any? <laughs> yeah, I know. Any uh, rumours being whispered around the campfire from WeFit? Anything going on at the moment? You know, we're. 
Well, we're all, all wishing one of our trainers, Cedric, well. He's a bit injured right now. He's got a, a bad bacteria, yeah. so... We were Cedric, be, the yes, boxing guy. C Cedric, yeah, French MMA guy. So he, he's suffering with a bacterial infection on his leg, close to getting it amputated. So that was really that bad. Uh, so we're going to be throwing a fundraiser together for him at some point soon. Arnaud Lapon is going to be spearheading that, I think. Uh, so watch out for that on Facebook and, and try and help out. Help out one of the kind of MMA guys in Malaysia. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and put the word out about okay, that. Okay, awesome. Okay, any closing statements, gentlemen? Follow the Malaysian invasion. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, thanks very much for the interview and I hope to see you yeah. online sometimes. Yeah. Okay. You're a very well-spoken young man, Peter. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, there, sir. <laughs>